Hello everyone. Welcome to the fifth series of educational videos from NevLab. We will talk about the consequences of chronic curticaria from the seven C's of the Diagnostic World Cup. I am Dr. Rabia Tashkara, and I am dermatologist from Sakarya, Turkey. And I am Fragis Kitsatsu, a dermatologist and a rheologist from the second dermatology department of the Aristotle University of Thessaloniki in Greece. And we are very happy to discuss the consequences of chronic urticaria and in particular, the social and psychological impacts of the disease. As we know, chronic spontaneous urticaria is defined as the occurrence of wheels angioedema or both for more than six weeks. We can see the CSU as related angioedema is about 10% of all CSU cases. Chronic inducible urticaria is characterized by definite and subtype specific triggers like friction, cold, heat, solar radiation, pressure, or exercise. Concomitant syndrome occurs in 7 to 30% of CSU patients. Chronic urticaria is a common disease worldwide. Its prevalence has increased to two to tenfold over the last decade. A recent systematic review and meta-analysis reported an overall lifetime prevalence of 4.4% and an overall point prevalence ranging from 0.1 to 1.5%. Prevalence data from Africa is lacking, but all ethnicities appear to be affected although prevalence may vary in different populations due to genetics or lifestyle habits. Chronic urticaria affects people of all ages. It is more common in women, but this gender difference is not apparent in children or adolescents under 15 years of age or in the elderly population. It has a variable duration, but could last for several years. Here we will talk about the impact of CSU on different aspects of patient's quality of life and the burden of, the, of this chronic disease for the patient and society. CSU is a debilitating, difficult to treat, frustrating disease for patients and physicians with great impact on patients' life and society. CSU often has a negative impact on sleep, on distress, on sexual health, on work productivity and social performance. The symptoms of chronic urticaria have a substantial impact on many aspects of patients' daily lives. The Chronic Urticaria Quality of Life Questionnaire, CUQL, a validated urticaria specific questionnaire to assess the effects of CSU, consists of 23 questions, which measure six scales of QL, pruritus, swelling, impact on life activities, sleep problems, limits, and looks. Also, it has good correlation with Dermatology Life Quality Index. Current guidelines recommend CUQL. CUQL is simple and requiring only five minutes to complete with high scores indicated, maximum impairment. CSU has a dramatic effect on duration and quality of sleep. Patients in the chronic urticaria group were more likely to have an adverse sleepness scale score of greater than a Q to 10 and an apnea hyperapnea index of greater than a Q to 5 compared to the control group. CUQL shows that Pittsburgh sleep quality index correlates negatively with disease duration, apnea hyperapnea index, apnea duration, and count a number of respiratory events. Pruritus and the severity of hives, as well as the fear of angioedema attacks, are mainly responsible for sleep difficulties, such as difficulties staying asleep or waking up too early, with resulting fatigue and diminished physical and emotional well being during the day. Fatigue is a common and important symptom in patients with CSU and adverse the effect of QL. One of the six dimensional structures we questioned in CUQL is sleep problems. Many studies have reported to sleep disturbances in patients with CSU. In the study of Aroledol, 
in which they compared 130 CSU patients with healthy controls, female gender and the presence of disturbed sleep were found to be significant predictors of fatigue in patients with CSU. They found a positive correlation between fatigue severity scores and sleep problems. This study examined the relationship between insomnia and the frequent itching skin diseases, atopic dermatitis, and chronic urticaria. A total of 61 patients, 36 with CU with pruritus, were evaluated for insomnia with insomnia severity index and impairment in dermatological quality of life with dermatology life quality index. The mean insomnia severity index score is patients with chronic urticaria increased when a flare occurred. In patients with CU, during a flare correlations were detected between insomnia severity index and dermatology life quality index scores and between pruritus score and dermatology life quality index score. Moving now to the impact of chronic urticaria on work productivity, the ASSURE study demonstrated a high impact of the disease, mainly due to itching in 40% of cases and angioedema in 28% of cases. More than 20% of, of patients report at least one hour per week of missed work. The mean absenteeism, which is the unplanned sick leave, was 6%, whereas the mean presenteeism, which is working while sick, was as high as 25%. Work productivity impairment was 27%, and these effects increased with increasing disease activity. Chronic urticaria diminishes work or school productivity, mainly due to the lack of concentration caused by fatigue, pruritus, or the effects of medication. Patients show a diminished cognitive per performance, but they also miss out on work opportunities. For example, patients tend to avoid stressful situations in fear of a flare, or they tend to reject a demanding post, a presentation in front of a crowd, a job interview, and, and sometimes they miss a demanding exam or school project. Patients are often subjected to bullying at the workplace or at school. Patients are often limited in their physical or sports activities, in particular in cases of chronic urticaria associated with angioedema and SINDU. These limitations affect greatly the general health of patients of all ages, but especially children and adolescents. Physical activity restrictions have a strong impact on, on health-related quality of life in patients with chronic urticaria plus angioedema and, and SINDU. DLQI is more than 10 in 30% of patients. CSU also affects the families and partners of patients. Patients are apprehensive of body image in front of young children or their family. In patients with CSU or with SINDU, with a low reactivity threshold or difficulty avoiding triggers, Social life, sport, and leisure activities can also be significantly impaired, contributing to reduce joy de vivre. The partner's sleep may be disrupted due to the patient's intense itching at night, often involving the patients in their treatment through cold skin wraps, massages, or application of creams to relieve itching during the night. Both the patient and their partner are sleep deprived. Chronic fatigue occurs on both sides. The partner suffers psychologically when they see the patient suffering. In both cases, it causes lack of intimacy. Work productivity tends to decline as the partner tries to support the patient's needs. Social activities are impaired due to fear of flare-up, diminished choice of clothing, or reluctance to wear makeup. Patients may miss social activities while avoiding crowded environments. Their friendship may end and eventually the person may completely isolate themselves socially. They feel social anxiety. Self-esteem suffers from others' reaction to one's skin lesions. Deleterious effects on mental health. Chronic urticaria impacts, impairs sexual activity and affects severely patients, but also their partners. 
According to recent studies, women with the disease show reduced total female sexual function index scores. Two-thirds of female patients exhibit sexual dysfunction, which is linked to the presence of angioedema, high disease activity, and poor disease control. Sexual dysfunction is also associated with anxiety, depression, and fatigue. As a result, patients avoided intimacy due to pruritus, fatigue, mood disturbances, or impaired body image, because of the presence of lesions, bleeding, or scarring of the skin. Also, they avoid physical sexual activity in fear of flare-up. All of the above have a negative effect on the general well-being and the quality of life of the patients, also an effect on family planning, and a detrimental effect on the partner who feels rejected, lonely, sometimes hopeless. Partnerships and marriages could suffer or break under the lack of intimacy. And all of the above stress the importance of sexual activity and the need for studies on the impact of effective treatment on sexual functioning. Chronic urticaria impacts greatly on the patient's mental health. Patients report feeling helpless, restricted in their lives, living under constant high levels of stress. Many chronic urticaria patients have daily or almost daily symptoms, which often appear in the evening, at nighttime, or in the early morning hours. Therefore, affected individuals live in a state of constant fear of the next flare of wheels or angioedema. The time of appearance of lesions, the duration and severity of the flare can vary considerably from day to day. Many patients have a feeling of losing control over their lives due to the sudden onset and the unpredictability of the, of the disease. Patients report that their quality of life is mostly affected by the feeling of losing control over their lives, but also by the fear of suffocation, feelings of self-consciousness, embarrassment, frustration, sadness, discouragement, tiredness, irritability, and anxiety. Health-related quality of life scores are even lower in patients with chronic urticaria plus angioedema. In a large study of 12,000 of more than 12,000 chronic urticaria patients, the strongest association with anxiety was seen in patients 18 to 29 years of age and the high socioeconomic status, whereas the strongest association with depression was found in patients 50 to 69 years of age and the low socioeconomic status. It is therefore obvious that mental health screening is necessary in all patients. Does psychiatric morbidity, however, precede or follow chronic urticaria onset? In a recent meta-analysis of 25 studies, psychiatric comorbidities were found in one-third of chronic urticaria patients, but it was unclear whether psychiatric disorders pre-existed before the disease onset. There was no association seen between chronic urticaria severity or duration and psychiatric disease severity. In one case report and two case series, the treatment of psychiatric disorders with antidepressants, anti-anxiety drugs, and psychological interventions resulted in the disease improvement. So there is an obvious need for psychiatric screening and management in addition to urticaria treatment. Also, studies are needed to assess whether psychiatric disorders coexist with chronic urticaria independently or follow the disease onset, as well as studies on the effect of psychological or psychiatric intervention on chronic urticaria control. A common question is whether chronic urticaria is induced or exacerbated by stress. There is a very strong association between pruritus and quality of life. We know that the central nervous system plays a major role in the relationship between each and anxiety. Each and anxiety form a vicious cycle leading to increased each perception and intense scratching. Therefore, there is a need to clarify central mechanisms of the each anxiety cycle and to study whether pharmacological and interventional anti-anxiety treatments have sufficient antipruritic effects. 
the impact of chronic urticaria on the mental health of adolescents has been recently studied. There is an, an indirect effect of the disease on anxiety and depression, which is caused by pruritus and sleep disturbance. Adolescents also feel restricted in their choice of clothes. For example, uh, they feel restricted in that they have to wear long sleeves, high collars, hats, or sunglasses to hide their angioedema. They feel restricted in their physical or sports activities by fear of exacerbation, especially when chronic urticaria is associated with angioedema in Sindhu. The impact on quality of life is more severe when urticaria is associated with angioedema plus Sindhu. The impact of chronic urticaria on individual patients' lives and on society as a whole is substantial. Chronic urticaria affects emotional, social, financial, and physical aspects of the patient's lives. Also, it has a serious impact on healthcare system resources. The disease is associated with a high consum consumption of medical resources and high treatment costs, but also a significantly diminished efficiency at school or work, inducing both high direct and indirect costs to society. This international observational study evaluated a cohort of 673 adult patients with CSU whose symptoms persisted for more than 12 months despite treatment. Data on disease duration, activity, treatment history, impact on health-related health quality of life, work productivity, social life, financial burden, healthcare resource, use were evaluated. Almost 50% of patients had moderate to severe disease activity as reported by urticaria activity score. CSU markedly interfered with sleep and daily activities. Angiodema in the previous 12 months was reported by 66% of enrolled patients and significantly affected health-related quality of life. More than 20% of patients reported more than one hour per week of missed work, productivity impairment was 27%. Significant healthcare resources and costs were incurred to treat CSU. Interdisciplinary approach, patient psychological screening and support are necessary Important message, uh, you are not alone. We care in you care. And we would like to thank you for your attention. Thank you for your attendance. And we look forward to seeing you in the next You Care Level Up video. Bye-bye.